Is it also perfect on morality where in Surah 4, in a couple of places, if you can't marry a free believing woman, you should marry a servant, which means it's kind of okay with slavery, but you only get to punish them half as much. And in 434, if men are in charge of women, uh, men are made to be in charge of women. And if your woman is disobedient, then you punish them by beating them and refusing to have sex with them. I don't find that to be very morally sound. It's good to let your slaves go free, uh, according to the Quran, but it's also good for retaliation to, uh, if one of your slaves is killed, to kill one of theirs, male for male, female for female, believer, non-believer, etc. Um, the book isn't scientifically accurate or useful, and definitely not without flu. And some people are going to be offended if they're not already in just a moment. And I see no reason to avoid offense when we're talking about what the truth is. <coughs> it also isn't without flaws on morality especially as there are countless Muslim apologists trying to find a way to make it seem acceptable for a grown man to marry a six-year-old and consummate it at nine. 